if I say anything, I'm getting doxxed. In today's video, I'm gonna be going through every YouTuber on clean up Roblox and say whether I like them or whether I hate them. There's three of us, Bozo, which if I say anything, I'm getting doxxed. Now we have Cube Inc, which I'm not shooting Cube, because a like, few times I've interacted with him, he's been incredibly chill, and honestly, he's really nice. Next, we have Shrep. I like his content. He seems really chill. I would like to get going, but Shrep gets to live. Next, we have Exifairly, which he just quit Bedwars and went to Brock's Fruits, which, like, again, I would shoot him, but he does seem incredibly nice in DMs, but at the same time, I don't know him, so die fairly. A week after I recorded this video, I actually got in a call with x -Demon and some other people, and I said this pickup line, and x -Demon just replied with this, so, uh, I think her makes is good now. Next, we have Fulton, which Fulton, I've never talked to or had any sort of interaction with, but he is kind of one of my main inspirations for this channel that actually do Roblox, so I'll let him live. Next, we have Bongbo, which he kind of just disappeared off the face of a playing it though. He is incredibly chill. I'll let him live. Hey yo, cleanse beam. Hey yo, where's your clothes at? But fun fact, I actually almost was gonna edit for cleanse beam, but then he started ghosting me, so as much as I would shoot him for ghosting me, I'm kind of glad that he ghosted me because it gave me more time to work on my own channel. Next we have Blacked Way, which he also switched to Blocks Roots, but honestly, like, I've never really watched his videos because I just don't don't like roleplay videos, but I like him in other people's videos, so I'll let him live. Next, we have Chiseled, which he doesn't do any bedroll stuff, but like he was in the he was in the first he was in the first person boots movie, so because of that, Humpty Dumpty. Okay, here we have Paradoct, which you know he follows me on Twitter, so kind of have to let him live. Next, we have Zachary Zaxel, which I don't watch roleplay videos, and I do know some people that are friends with him that says he's the nicest person or one of the nicest people they've met, so I'll let him live. Okay, Digito, which he isn't a Bedwars YouTuber, unless you count his Bedwars channel that he kinda just itched, which makes sense because his simulator channel was popping off, but I would kill him, but he follows me on Twitter. Next, we have Mingy, which is one of the first Bedwars YouTubers that started from Bedwars to pop off, and because of that, I gotta let him live. Next, we have Truth Behind the Flies, which I'm kinda surprised he's still alive at this point, so... Next, we have Tappet. He moved out of Fulton's house and hasn't uploaded on his Bedwars channel, which, because he moved out... Nah, I'm kidding. You can live. I respect your decision. Lisa Gaming. Now, I think it's just a 40-year-old man. Like, who knows? Maybe Truth Behind the Flies is actually just Lisa Gaming in disguise. Next, we have Tinker, which Tinker barely collabs with anyone, so, like, I don't really know, but he has been forcing himself to play Bed Wars, which I know it probably is difficult, because I don't think he really enjoys the game, but I can respect, like, him still doing it, but feel free to do something else, like, I personally wouldn't mind. Creek, where's your shout? Oh my god. My bad. My, my bad. Don't cancel me, please. Make sure to subscribe, and if you enjoyed today's video, subscribe.